I'm here with Edouard Melan, CEO of Moser, and we are at their first ever boutique on Earth. And they chose to open it at the iconic crossroads of Queen's Road Central and Petter Street. So let's take a look. Congrats. Thank you. Welcome. So yes, Austin, this is um, not the first boutique ever. Mm. Actually, we had a boutique uh, over 100 years ago, oh, a couple okay. of them actually, but then, uh, you know, time passing, the mm -hmm. brand had, uh, had to shut them down and then we took over 10 years ago and it's been a process and we're super excited to bring to Hong Kong the first flagship store for, uh, for Moser 2.0, so to say. Amazing. Well, first of all, congratulations. Thank and you. obviously, I think it's an amazing choice. To, you like it, yeah? Yeah, I think it's an amazing location as well and to yeah. choose Hong Kong over everywhere else. I mean, is it, do you want to elaborate a little bit on why Hong Kong over, you know, anywhere in Europe? You know Hong Kong, right? Hong course, Kong is like course. one of the, the maker of watchmaking. Uh, it's a very mature market. We have a, a team here of dedicated people for over 10 years. Mm -hmm. So they know the brand. We have a huge community of, of Moser fans, a growing community. So we had an opportunity, as you said, one of the key location exactly. uh, in Hong Kong and meaning in the world. Um, and it's, it's the first one. So we want to make a statement. We want it to be the thing that, you know, it's kind of the Moser temple. Yes. And we wanted to use it in the future for all our other partners and saying, hey, this is the benchmark now. Yes. And uh, if, we, if we open and we will open new boutiques, then we want to be something similar to that. Amazing. Well, what a, what a high benchmark that you guys have set. <laughs> Thank I you. mean, even from the visual merchant, from the VM and to everything. Yeah, we, you know, Moser is very, um, you know, understated, yet we are a luxury brand. So we didn't want to be like all over the top where everything is like luxury wood and gold. It's, it's kind of rough materials. Mm -hmm. We wanted this kind of art, modern gallery yeah. uh, style. And I think it works very well. Like you have these blue materials, you have this, like rough concrete mm -hmm. and it's elegant, it's understated, it's minimalistic, yet it's Moser and exactly. it's luxury. So I yeah. think it's, it's a good balance. It took us a long time to find the right uh, concept, mm -hmm. um, but I'm super excited. Yeah. Nice. And so what are, what are these things? I mean, I know you guys famously went on the Make Swiss Made Great Again campaign, right? Uh, I mean... Yeah, well, you know, we, we always, we have values. We, yes. we always communicate about our values, about, you know, being integra integrated, about having history, but we don't want to, you know, have like too much about it and yeah. like cover the walls with those kind of things. So we have this small corner where we talk with a touch of humor, you know, and says like, you know, you have two years, uh, 200 years history when your founder was born three years before Napoleon. So it's, you know, it's Moser. There's always a touch yeah. of, of humor. We not take it too seriously, but yet it's very important to us. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we're super proud. We have the, the castle where, where Mr. Moser was, was yeah. living. We still work with the Moser family. We have the foundation to promote the history of the Moser family. So it's important to us, but it's not something we want to, to have everywhere and, yeah. and, and on the walls of our boutique. No, yeah. it's one element among many. Yeah, you guys That's are why. creating your own future, essentially, and yeah. not being bound by the past so. or paying proper well, respects to I it. think the past is important to, to set the values. Yeah. And, you know, he was an entrepreneur. He was, uh, like, quality was, uh, was very important. Exploring new territories was mm -hmm. important. Challenging the norm was important to Heinrich Moser. And that's something we continue. I mean, we're trying to, to keep the legacy, but we don't want to be stuck into something that is too rigid. Of course. Amazing. So let's... Uh, Let's take a look at this room. So yeah, so we have here like the kind of the first ex exhibition area, quite a lot of space, a big table here where people mm -hmm. can stand, see some watches. And here we, we go into something a little bit more cozy. Mm -hmm. You can see even the sound is different. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, here we want a place where we can, you can, we can sit with a, with a few VIPs. We have two spaces next to, um, to each, each other. And that's where we can discover some of our um, new products. So here we have a couple of examples, mm -hmm. like our um, mini repeater, 40 millimeter enameled in the Endeavor uh, collection, or something pretty new because we released it, uh, I think last week, is the amazing. first stream streamliner tourbillon steel with a rainbow setting. It's, it's a amazing. case that really is made for, for the stone. So. Something Amazing. quite interesting for the, the people who are coming to discover our boutique. And just for everyone. Yeah, beautiful miniature Amazing. Peter. Amazing. We make 40 we make millimeters. 40 millimeters. We make maybe one, one a month. So pretty exciting to have one here for the opening. Yeah. Amazing. And the, the enamel that was amazing. So yeah, this dark blue, we used to be a lot of into more greens, mm -hmm. uh, but our blue has become like our kind of corporate color. Touch yeah. green. You see like the kind of carpet on the side. I love it. 
a lot of people love our our blue uh, our blue dyes, and reason why we have more and more blue inside mm -hmm. our corporate identity. And that's the uh, other entrance. If we go on the other side, I don't yeah. know if you want to um, to follow me here. And uh, here we are inside the mall. So you see, you have two entrances. You have the main entrance over there. Yeah. Second entrance here. Also a lot of visibility. We have the logo, the H Moser, and here a, a good example of. Uh, of one of uh, our new models, which yes, is the one I'm the wearing, one wearing. It's a, which is the Streamliner uh, Vanta Black. Uh, Streamliner has been very successful, mm -hmm. uh, but we try to keep the balance between the different lines. Uh, we have Endeavor Pioneer Streamliner Heritage. Yep. Um, it's very balanced between the three, about 30% of our production and 10% for a heritage show. Amazing. This is an amazing example. First time we do a, a gold bracelet, super elegant, super comfortable. And obviously the, uh, the Vanta Black. I said before, a lot of people uh, know our female out. Yes. And the blue is one of the first one that's got so successful. Mm -hmm. But Vanta Black um, has become also extremely an icon popular. for you guys. Yeah. So. Difficult to make, but an iconic. And also staying completely in tune with the minimalistic approach that you guys uh, yeah. take in so many of your watches. Yeah, I think it's 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 all of what Moser tries to do it's exactly. in terms of um, trying to make things that could be complicated look actually very simple. Exactly. Amazing. Well, congratulations. Thank you. And, uh, and uh, I, I'm sure I'll be here all the time looking at your new novelties. <laughs> we should. And, we'll be uh, bringing novelties. We're going to bring special things also for the boutique in the mm -hmm. future. Mm -hmm. So yeah, stay tuned. Amazing. Congrats. Thank you. See you.